Hi everyone, so in this video I want to do a tutorial for mouse users um, who want to do digital art and this will be a tutorial on how to do line art with a mouse in Paint Tool Sci. So there's one specific tool that I would definitely recommend using if you want to make line art in Paint Tool Sci, which would be the new line work layer or just called the line work layer. So when you click that, it makes a new layer on top of your sketch. And if you find it hard to sketch digitally, I would just recommend sketching traditionally on uh, with a pencil and paper, take a picture of it or scan it and then bring it into the program. Um, that's what I did with this, but then I sketched over it because I wanted to change a lot of things and then I got carried away and ended up changing so many things about this sketch so that it would kind of look presentable for this video. So once you have your sketch, I would make it a color um, just so it doesn't get confused with the with the line work layer or just make it lighter so what you want to do is go to the opacity and just lower the opacity until it gets much lighter and you'll see i have a second window here and i'll show you how i did that you want to go to view i'm just going to put it back to normal you want to go to view new and now you have two windows of the same drawing you click on this up here which is called maximize I don't know and then now you have two windows you can resize the windows zoom in zoom out like this and I like to keep it relatively zoomed out so you can see what your whole drawing looks like from afar as you're working on it so I would leave that to whatever side you want Just, I don't know if you have a preference which side to put it on you can put it there so here is the sketch and before I show you like ways you can outline a sketch. Um, I'll just show you how all the tools work. So first you have the pen tool. Let's make this black. And the pen tool, that looks really shaky. The pen tool, basically you can draw with it, but it adds little points along the line. You can move the points around. So that's what the pen tool does. The eraser can just erase line art. The weight tool can change the thickness of the lines, the color tool can change the color of the lines, the edit tool, there's, uh, you can move lines around, delete them, move around a whole section of lines, the pressure tool changes the thickness of different points along a line, uh, there's a select pen and the select erase, which can select, select a section of the lines and erase the selection, so when you have a selection like this, the select erase, when you select things they turn blue in paint tool side. But then once you go to a different tool, they have that dotted outline. But when, you, when you're on the select pen, it's blue. The select erase um, gets rid of some of the selections and you're just left with that. To so deselect selection, clear. Then you have the curve tool, which is what I'm gonna be using most for this video. Basically you click to make points and with each point, point you make, it creates a curve and you double click to end it. The line tool is pretty self-explanatory, it makes lines. And using the weight tool, you can change the thickness of these lines. Let's make this really thick. You just click on it and it gets bigger. You can make it really thin, like that. And you'll notice, I'm just gonna make this slightly bigger. You'll notice with, with these lines, when you go to the edit tool, they have little green dots. They have little green dots along the line. And at the end of each line are little orange dots. And these line, these dots, you can move around, you can change the thickness of each individual um, place on the line um, according to where the dot is. You can do a lot of things, which is why this is great for mouse users because it gives you a lot of control. So the pressure tool is the most useful tool um, along with the curve tool. The curve tool and the pressure tool are amazing because I'm just gonna zoom in here. With the pressure tool, you can click on a point and if you drag to the left, it can make it thinner. And if you drag to the right, it can make it thicker. And you can do this along any point in the entire line. So you can go to this point, make that thicker. If you want it to gradually get thicker, you can only make it thicker to a certain extent. You can only double the thickness, I think. So if you want to be able to go bigger, um, you just increase the size of your line like this and then you have more control because you can always make it as small as possible, but then there's a limit to how big you can make it. The pressure tool is great for adding line variation because as you all know, with a mouse, you cannot have pressure sensitivity. I'll show you the difference between, um, I'm using a mouse right now, but my tablet is a Cintiq 
companion and I have the pen here so I'm gonna make a new layer and show you what the difference between a mouse line is and a pen line. So this is the pen line. You can, I'm just gonna lower the minimum size. You can make it as thick or thin as you want, like this. If I try to do this with the mouse, it's just all one black line. <laughs> so that's why it's really difficult to make lines with a mouse rather than a tablet. I'm gonna go back to my mouse and show you the last few tools um, for the line work layer. So color changes the color of an entire section of lines. So like that, you can make it red, you can make it whatever color you want. You can change the color of the lines with the color tool. You can make it black again. And the eraser can erase the line, but just um, since these are like vector tools, which means you can resize them and they never lose their resolution or they never deteriorate in quality, um, when you erase them, they automatically get rounded. So you can't like erase it and make it a point because it's automatically gonna round it like that. If you want it to be a point, you just go to the pressure tool and make it smaller. Each point you can control with the pressure tool. The pressure tool is really, really, really great. I can't stress it enough for doing line art with a mouse because I used to do this sometimes. I wouldn't use a mouse, but I would try to do line art with these tools. And now I don't even really do line art anymore, so I'm not really used to it that much. But I do use the line tools for um, straight objects that I want to draw. So those are the basic tools. Oh, one more thing I want to say with the edit, there's a whole bunch of different um, options down here that you can choose what the edit one does to the points. So there's translate, which moves them around, deform stroke, let's just test these all out here. Deform stroke, so I guess you can click on a point and it kind of deforms it based on which point you're clicking on. Delete, just delete individual points, so if you want to remove points, if you have too many, you can just delete them like this. And there's just a whole bunch of other different options that do different things. Um, I only really use the translate and the delete. Those are the ones I use mostly, they're just the most useful. The other ones kind of confuse me and I find them hard to control, but these are all your basic options for your line work layer. Now I'll show you how to like actually line art a sketch. You just kind of want to follow the lines, but I'll just give some tips here and there. Okay, so now we're going to make a new line work layer and go to the curve tool. Let's just do black, keep it simple. I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here, maybe a little bit less. And as for brush sizes, the brush size depends on the size of your canvas. So if you have a huge canvas, the largest brush size will look smaller than if you had a small canvas and you had the largest brush size, then it would look huge. So the brush size is really dependent on the canvas size, but I'm using an A4 size canvas right now. Let's just double check that. You can check the size of your canvas by going to canvas, change size, and it tells you here, and I believe that is the dimensions for A4. And you can see the resolution, which is 350 uh, pixels per inch. So th that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off by using 12, and I'm just gonna start I haven't done this in so long. I used to make my line art like this sometimes, and I hardly ever... Well, that's kind of thick. Let's make it less. Let's make it like six. Yeah, that's better. Click every time you want to like change directions, basically. You see it's not showing up in the new view yet, but it will once I'm done with this line. I'm not going to do the whole drawing, I'm just going to do a small part of it. So that's the edge of her face, and I already see a few things that I want to change, so you go to edit, I'm just going to make that smaller, and I like to, oh yeah, so keep it on translate. And translate will move your point around like this. Also translate can add points to the curve. You can just keep pressing undo if you did something wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the pressure tool, and the pressure tool can change the thickness of lines. So if you drag to the left, it makes it smaller. If you drag to the right, it makes it bigger. So I'm going to make the ends of these points... I'm going to make this one bigger, and I'm going to make it get thinner as it comes to her forehead. It's going to get thicker at this part, thinner along her cheek. And as you can see, from this looks a lot better than it did before, just by changing the pressure. 
you've added a lot of variation in the line work and it just looks better. So this does take more time than using a tablet. I'm just going to do a few more just to like give you more of an idea of how to do this. I'm going to do the hair now. I'm going to start here. I'm following this strand of hair. Sorry if this looks a little bit stiff. Um, I'm really not used to this method of line arting, but um, this is how you do it. This is, uh, you just want to follow your whole sketch with the line work layer tools. So like the curve, the line tool gives you a straight line if you need that. And the edit tool um, allows you to move all the points around. The pressure tool changes the thickness. The weight can change the thickness of the whole line. You can color the line. Let's say we want this to be a sepia kind of color. I would just go to a dark red and just click on all the lines and now they are sepia. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of how to do line art with a mouse. Um, it's just something I think is really important for people to know about this program, especially the pressure tool. Um, if, if the only thing you can afford is a mouse to do art with, um, this is a really, really good option. Um, any kind of um, line work tools that you can edit and move around, it just gives you more control. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative and thanks for watching.